All right, guys. Welcome back. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the channel on this beautiful and snowy uh, March 10th. So here we here we are, guys, in Chicago. Uh, well, not all of Chicago. I don't think downtown um, got any. I don't think downtown got any snow because I spoke to a fellow this morning um, about what the conditions were like in Old Town, which is right about at um, North Avenue and Wells. Um, and he said they didn't get any. So out here in the burbs, we got about three inches, but there's been sort of a semi cloudy day. So most of the street and sidewalks Uh, I've already melted as you guys can see um, But yeah, we got about two and a half three inches yesterday uh, and I think We are due To get some more um, Anyways guys Welcome back. Welcome back to the channel. What are we doing today? Um This fine and beautiful Sunday, uh, sorry, Friday, we are heading down to a new local Mexican uh, cuisine restaurant. And I hope, I actually hope they do just your general round of the mill Mexican-American or Tex-American Tex-Mex um, uh, food because on the billboard on the well on the sign of what the place is it indicates that it's like uh, something something mariscos so Perhaps they do like regular food and seafood. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna go check it out, guys. And the, the whole idea is gonna be um, what the plan will be is to order Mexican food like a pro, meaning. Uh, we're gonna switch to Spanish as soon as I get in there and we're just gonna order away because some of you guys have been watching my channel for a while uh, may know or may have been cross advertised into my channel Jungle Harry from my previous channel when I lived in the Peruvian Amazon, in the nor northern Peruvian Amazon jungle. Um, and so, you guys know I've been sort of learning Spanish the whole time I was there, but uh, I had some Spanish in high school, and then I kind of, you know, uh, dictionaries and phrase books and I used to go in um, when I lived in London I used to go in uh, to the international news stand in Chelsea down on Fulham Road in Chelsea and Westminster and there was a little guy there um, just outside of South Kensington Station who used to sell uh, newspapers from around the world so like you could go in there and pick up a 
copy of like the New York Times. Um, yeah, it was basically like all the major newspapers from the major capitals from around the world. Um, and oh man, it looks like somebody got into an accident. Um, I believe that to be a Arlington Heights police officer. Um, so basically guys, I'd walk in there and I used to get a copy of, um, I used to get a copy of El Pais, which is like one of the main newspapers from Madrid, Spain. And, um, and once in a while I would, yeah, pick up a copy and I would read it just kind of, just so I could keep up with my Spanish. Um, but then I had, uh, I had traveled to Spain, Spain maybe seven or eight times for work and for vacations, uh, little weekend getaways and things of that nature. So I was able to, you know, keep up, keep up with the Spanish a little bit. Um, but truly, really and truly, I'm kind of, uh, um, I'm kind of an A2, like I just did a, did a Spanish level test, which is like basically gauging which level Spanish you are. And I am what they call A2 intermediate level of Spanish. Um, so, but yeah, like I've been basically like self-taught. I haven't really, apart from taking intro to Spanish in high school, um, when the only thing we really learned was the alphabet, uh, some, you know, like how to pronounce the alphabet, and then just like a few basic phrases. Uh, but the majority of my Castellano or Espanol or Spanish had come from living and working in Peru. So, um, so I hope they understand me here. <laughs> um, all right. Yeah, the place is right next to uh, Tony's Fresh Market. <laughs> 